Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's the Beast of the North back at it again with another episode of Mine Wreckers. In, and it's already setting sun. But in the last episode, we went ahead and did the first, uh, like, main extension for the monastery project. Did this awesome greenhouse, and as well, I'll show it after I go to bed real fast. Because I didn't show it off in last episode, even though I did it then. I finally did the interior of the main church building, as well as, uh finally maxed my uh, librarian villager down there to, in order to get some name tags and named my cat in here but this is the interior of the church I got a nice little like iron chandelier I really like the idea of There's some simple cushions in the in the in the seats I forgot what they're called I named the cat Freya and changed the cross to the golden sun like I was talking about there it is. Really proud of the interior on this one. After finally doing it and also just getting tired of <laughs> my horse, donkey, and mule being in the way all the time there. Because they love to be by the door for some reason. So I did end up just digging them a hole after all. Um, but today... I started building this little foundation here. It looks rather sinister so far, but I'm hoping it'll it won't be that bad when it's finished. But this is the beginning of the clock tower. So I was thinking it's just gonna be like a little deep slate base like this, but then go up another like two or three stories like this, or I'm thinking two stories of like the normal this is like like this design whoops <laughs> of like the stone bricks as the corner supports with the stone mossy stone and or cobblestone mossy stone and andesite as the main building blocks go up like that two stories or maybe three stories and then I'm thinking either that or the third story will be calcite and like diorite other white blocks this is another nice little separation method and then the and that just sort of top floor like that with a little canopy atop with a copper bell hanging from it that's why I'm getting all this copper ready everything's fully healed nice but I of course need to get some more materials because I only have a bunch of deep slate on me and something else that I did I uh, actually showed up here if y'all noticed, I had a little thing, like, right here. Yeah, literally right here was just like a dirt pillar that was a dripstone to make infinite lava and a you know, little infinite dripstone thing. I moved it because it obviously did not look good. And I moved it. Oh, and also, I got a little candle candle holders now that I got all the wax I was able to get all the candles in here I want to be just normal skulls in all of these spots but I haven't been able to get any yet so that's what's there for now but I got this area up here because there was initially a little cave area up here that I sort of ended up covering up most of it in making the catacombs but this is where I moved dripstone making the lava and the more dripstone as well as the vines I'm, I don't really like the vines in here that much though so I'm thinking at least those I'm probably gonna want to move elsewhere at some point I'm gonna be needing lots of vines to be making lots of mossy cobblestone So probably mix in some bone blocks along with the calcite, especially since uh, I don't have a lot of calcite. 
And I know I found a couple of amethyst geodes, but I haven't mined all the calcite in them yet. I know, foolish of me. I guess we can start off at least with a few stone bricks here. Just to get started. Um, hmm. I have a decent idea of how I want to be doing this instead, since that's not square. I didn't even fully realize that. It's not going to be working the way I was planning on initially. And then something like that. It's a little... Mm. like a lot brighter than the stone bricks is the thing. Oh, I know. Here we go. This is going to work wonders right here. Ah, uh, there we go. Definitely. Just make some more stone bricks. Uh, get that end aside. Replay mod installed. It'll be a lot better for my recordings, I think, and for my editing. So let's see, I made those four blocks tall. I think that probably every floor, every store is going to be four blocks. Like, do floor on there, and then build this up one more floor on that block. Type of thing. You can. Rip. Yeah, I like that so far. Definitely thinking I should go ahead and do like the two stories like that, and then do a th the third one with some of the calcite, and gonna have to go down to my skeleton farm to grab a bunch of bones. Make some bone blocks. Mix in a bit of diorite as well. Get my scaffolding. Once I actually had my scaffolding this time building, you know. <laughs> See how that is so far. I don't like that. And then um, maybe dark oak or spruce. Or just more of the deep slate. Or maybe even blackstone. I don't think I have a lot of blackstone though. Do another little sort of wrap around like that on that level then do the do the calcite diorite bone block layer <laughs> damn the ruby just keeps falling today and so far this is the the bell tower I keep wanting to say clock tower because I normally build clock towers Like, I don't know why, but for some reason I really love building clock towers. <laughs> but it doesn't really like seem to far. fit with the with the like lore and time frame of this place, so Yeah. I I I'm going to go because I, I got some IRL stuff to take care of. <laughs> Alright. Good luck See with you later. that. Bye. See you. Two. Ooh, like the greenhouse. Thanks. I considered adding more like vines and leaves on the inside to make it like seem a lot more lively, but I'm like, I'm not really that good at organics like that, and I like it enough like this, so. And I like bred the bees a lot, so there's, I don't know, probably like 12 bees in there. <laughs> Maybe so more. It's a manual form at the moment. Yeah. 
I thought about of a, like I think I know a design of a way I could make it automated, but I think I would have to sort of like dig into the church to do that. Oh yeah. Good. How do you live with this mess? I don't know. <laughs> like I, li I literally said sometime earlier, I was just like, this is atrocious. And I'm thinking maybe my next episode will be either an actual storage building or like making a basement under the church and making that the storage building. Because I hate this. Yeah. I'm just like, where is anything? And I have like <laughs> seven chests. One, two, three, four. Six chests, six shulker boxes. My ender chest was, yeah, which sometimes my chests are too full and I have to put stuff in there. Like, I normally try to just put treasure in the ender chest, like diamonds, heart of the sea, totems, emeralds. But now I also have books, yeah. iron bars, bones, dirt. Oh, and then I definitely want to do something at the, what's currently the top layer as well, to separate the stone and the diorite. Should I just do that exact same design, you think? Because I want the, the dome roof to be spruce, I'm thinking. Yeah, we need, we need vertical slabs and everything in between. Definitely. Wouldn't it be wild if they added that in the wild update? I'm going to look and see how that is so far. It does look a bit weird, but I think that's just because I haven't built above it anymore yet. But I think once we, yeah. once I do the, the layer of white, I think it'll look good enough. Which I need to go to my skeleton farm to grab some more bones. Oh, I have, we have plenty of uh -huh. Huh? In there? Do you need to AFK for more, or do you have any? Uh, there should be plenty down there. I have a few bones and some calcite in one of my shulker boxes, as well as some diorite somewhere. I'm trying to mix up some of all of those. <laughs> There's thin calcite there. Yeah. Uh, and like I found like I found two different amethyst geodes, but for some reason only mined ten calcite. And there's also glowing sack in my skeleton farm, evidently. I need to get better at flying. Oh god. <laughs> that diorite does not work well with the bone block. Maybe if I do yep. polished diorite instead. Because that is a bit brighter. Mm. Oh yeah, that's better. Definitely. I guess we'll replace all of the polished diorite with that. And the normal die, right? I've missed a couple here. I think that one's good. Yep, yeah, works. Yeah. And then I was thinking, like the top layer, do another, like do another sort of, of the wraparound, but like of the spruce, and then make that the top floor, and just supports leading to the dome roof with the copper bell hanging from it. Now here's the question. Do I have any spruce? <laughs> Anywhere. I found a single spruce plank. I found six, six spruce planks.
guys. Uh, Beast of the North back here again a few hours later. Because I had work, but I realized I think either like my recording software just like randomly stopped recording, or I might have accidentally stopped the recording at some point. But uh, while Top was here, did some work on finishing the exterior and interior of the bell tower, so here's what we have. Yeah, I mean it's just a small space so we didn't really do much for the interior but this has some little armor stands with armor on the first and fourth floor and just barrels with lanterns and like some hanging sword sort of thing I might replace it with bows just because of the arrow slits in here it can make a bit, more, a bit more sense sort of thing and is the actual bell itself and it also I gotta find which one it was there we go I wanna get more bells so that uh, to put under all of those blocks so that you can re press any of these buttons and actually ring the bell so it's a functioning bell tower and the only other thing is I just wanna wait till this copper oxidizes a little bit I don't want it to oxidize fully, but I want it to be a little bit weathered, you know? And then go ahead and wax it up with some of the honeycomb from my awesome bee farm now. <laughs> but yeah, I really just wanted to go in and get on right now, right quick, so I could show off the tower now that it's all completed. There we go, that's a good view. And, as well, while I was actually building, that top w became very annoyed with my terrible chess and actually went ahead and did some organizing for me. Like, like pretty much like almost like the entire time I was like building the tower and doing details and stuff for it. I'm just hearing chess opening out here and <laughs> seeing him just going through all these chests and organizing them. So I appreciate him for that, you know? But, yeah. Like I said, that was pretty much the main reason I wanted to hop on to record this little bit. And I'm thinking, just a small little thing, but I'm thinking I might, it might be a cool thing if I start ending all the episodes here in the church, especially with this, the sun sitting behind me. Look at that, it's going to align perfectly with the stained glass in a second here. It's about to hit the center, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Try to catch me howling at the moon.